It's a nicer one. That was a cool one. Hopper eat. Came out of the water for it. Just before 3 a.m. this journey started. And here we are now in Menachee Meadows. Today we're gonna to be searching for gold, right? So we're gonna uh, be going after the elusive golden trout. Um, there's a mixture up here, actually. There's goldens, there's browns. I think there's rainbows uh, and everything else. I was about two hours of running trail, about three hours from home. So total about five hours. And uh, it's just absolutely beautiful. Even if we don't catch a single fish today, this is beautiful. But I have every intention of catching a fish. And so to do that, I brought my Echo. This is the new Trout X. I haven't used this rod yet, even though I bought it about six months ago. Just haven't had the opportunity to fish with this weight of rod. There we go. I saw him rise and so I cast it over there. Ooh, hooked him in the butt. Butt hook. Don't fly. All right, so I want this little leggy B pattern. We're gonna see if that gets anybody's attention. Of course, I get hung up without even casting. All right, let's try it again. There we go. Wow. Did it hit the hopper? Yeah. There he goes. Ah, I missed him. rising at it there we go Another brown. Another beautiful fish. Well, there he goes. Oh, I see the perfect run up there. Look at it. I bet you can see it too. Let's see if I can set the hook on these fish. I think what happens is I can see them. I'm just getting so excited. I'm gonna try to fish this run from that rock all the way back down over there. There we go. That's exactly what it is. Setting the hook too quickly. Another beautiful, beautiful brown. All right, I think I'm gonna switch out right here. I'm gonna nymph this run. 
All right, threw on a Kern candy. <laughs> We're gonna see if this does anything. And nothing. They see it once and then that's it. Either you get them or you don't. All right, let's move up. Let's Kern candy it up. So nymph some runs. Nymph and runs. What the heck? I didn't even know these guys were up there. What is this? It's like I got a Sacramento sucker. That's a new one. <laughs> Ooh, release video. That's hilarious. All right, if that sucker fish is right here, then that run is too fast. There we go. There's a little golden. Finally. See him there? See his colors underneath? Fishing in the shadows, find the struck gold. We're gonna try for a better one, better coloring. Not that that guy would, you know, didn't have good coloring. Just, it could just be better. It's gotta be some sort of Sierra Slam. Or some, something, right? A brown, a golden, and a sucker. All right, so there was about, I'd say a good half mile or so of campgrounds with people in them that I just passed up, so I didn't get to fish those sections. Um, but we're up here above them now. I think we're getting pretty close to the dam that separates the wild uh, goldens from all the other fish below them. So if I can find those, if I can find that dam, I think we'll do a really good job of catching some more goldens, and I think the colors will be a lot prettier. Got a fish, wasn't even paying attention. No hook set. <laughs> I was just wading through water. <laughs> yeah, little guy. That's funny. All right, let's get back out here. This is where I was heading. Wow. That was a good one. There we go. It's a nicer one. The brown. Red Pertagon. No. Yes. There we go. See the spots right there on that fin. Just absolutely beautiful. There you go. Back home, buddy. A lot of browns. I can get a little closer to that edge. Ooh, it's a nicer one. I keep saying that, they're all about the same size. But, absolutely beautiful fish. Spit it out, yeah, that's what I like to see. Oh yeah, he's a lot bigger. Look at them. Just look at the colors. Right? 
It's one of the nicer fish of the day. He's probably 10 inches or better. Falling over over here. No, oh, that hurt. Rocks to the knee. Ah, a lot of fish in here. All right. Sneak right in over here. This looks good. Little bitty guy. Little brown. Good looking. Good looking fish. Right. Here he goes. All right, just got a little dry dropper with a hopper and uh, just a little trico uh, a merger. So let's roll those through and see how this does. I was just gonna run the hopper, but then I decided, why not? Oh, see, looky there, look at that. <laughs> <Rawr. laughs> Been standing a while, hurt my knees. Ah, fantastic. That worked fantastic. That was a nice one. Got him on the rise. No, oh, not my net. Come back. All right, I'm gonna head on up. Let's see if I can find that dam. Might still be pretty far away. Found it. Finally. Been walking for miles trying to get to this thing. Now let's go see. Let's go see what's above it. Sneaking over here now. There we go. Whew. And we got ourselves a brown. That's not supposed to happen. That dam says there's not supposed to be any browns up here. Yeah, Prince Nymph, or no, what did I switch to? I think I put a Copper John on the bottom. Another brown though. There it is though, another little brown. Man, that's, that's two casts, two fish. He's heating up. Let's see if I go on fire right now. Nope. This way that it always works. There we go. There's a golden.
And that is an absolutely stunning golden. Oh my gosh. Look at it. You can see the difference between this one and the one that I caught down below. You know, I wanted to see a comparison between the goldens down below that dam and the ones above it. Uh, there's still you know, tons of brownies up here, but what are you gonna do? That was awesome. Now it's time to go find Sean. I left him back there on the river somewhere. Well, still no sign of Sean, but I'm sure he'll turn up when he gets hungry. Uh, we're gonna be leaving from here and heading up to Bishop. We're gonna be fishing the Upper Owens. So make sure that you uh, stay tuned. And if you haven't done so, make sure that you subscribe so you can see that next video when it comes out. Uh, the fishing up on the Upper Owens should be pretty amazing. Uh, the fishing here was fantastic as well. It was really cool getting to see the difference in the colors uh, of the Goldens below and above the dam. I thought that was really neat just from you know a fisherman standpoint. So uh, if you liked it, make sure you hit that like button. And uh, as always, everyone, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next video.